right off the bat, great start. So I realized in editing this video that I did not record a clip of my room before it was painted and redone and everything. So here's a picture of what my room used to look like. It was like that for a while. Uh, yikes. And it was just ugly, um, but now it's a really great space. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. The whole, the whole flip, the flipperoo. Hi, okay, so I'm back already. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna be answering your guys' questions that came from my Instagram um, to, I don't know, make this more entertaining. First questions, um, what grade am I in? I am a junior in high school, and what class are you taking? I am taking AP Studio Art again this year. I took it last year, did a drawing portfolio. This year I'll be doing a 2D portfolio. And uh, as for the next question, how do you manage AP Art? It's very hard, and you need to set times every single day to draw and conceptualize. Oh. Wait, look at this. This is, I thought I did this. Oh, and then, ah, uh, okay, sorry. Um, when I grow up, so I'm interested in the arts, obviously, that's what all my channel is about, um, but I'm also interested in international relations and environmental conservation. So there's a lot there, so I have not figured it out yet, but those are my aspirations and my interests. Okay, this is great. Um, so you can watch me struggle here for a second. Uh, yeah, great. Almost, yeah, there it is, all right. <laughs> and you guys wanna know what kind of sketchbooks I'm using recently. So my favorite sketchbook is my handmade sketchbook that I've uh, been using for the past year or so. But I also love the larger Strathmore, um, just normal sketchbooks. And most recently I've been using a Rhodia sketchbook, which has also been really fun to play around in. My friend Zella asked how I sharpen my colored pencils, and I do that just with a normal pencil sharpener. Some people use a knife and they like shave it. I ain't about that. I just stick it in a handmade sharpener. Okay, wait, something good's about to happen. <laughs> I finished the first coat. I took a step back because obviously it's a uh, big change in that color. I went from dark green to reddish orange, pretty deep. Um, the issue that I did not expect was that this freaking telephone, I swear to God, it only rings when nobody wants it to ring. What I did not expect was it to look like a Pokeball. Here's a visual of a Pokeball, and here's my room. Um, that was not the goal, but here we are. I guess that's just my childhood dream coming true. There's no going back, but I kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool. So, we're just going to keep going. I did not properly introduce this part of the video, but I know this is your favorite because this is what us artists in the community here on YouTube like to call peel porn. So uh, you can enjoy this for a second. I'll add some volume and then we'll go back to our uh, normal commentary. Sorry, this wasn't even intentional. I just found it hilarious. <laughs> so more question, what artists inspire me the most and why? At the moment, I'm really inspired by muralists, specifically Aries and God help me, I'm definitely not saying that right. It's A-R-Y-Z. He does these insane murals and his painting style is just, mm, it's just, it hits the spot. So definitely check him out. Um, also, James Jean has been doing some crazy murals recently. I just think working big is super neat and something I really want to try. So I find that very inspiring. Favorite pencil for sketching? I'm so glad you asked this question because I'm very passionate about this subject. I only use really dark pencils, so I'll usually start a sketch with like a 2B and then I'll go right into like a 9B. I just love how soft the pencil gets and how dark it is. And the line variety you can get with it is just it's just so good so definitely go dark it's a lot of fun you get a lot of contrast um, and it does a lot for your work so don't be shy and only use those really light pencils what's my favorite medium at the moment painting but it's impossible to choose one I love mixed media I love mixing it up and I love trying new things so it's really just impossible for me to choose just one okay and it looks like we are uh, going back to me in the present this is the future I don't know and that's where my camera died. So I'm just gonna show you around, all right?
So, if you remember, my room had one desk over there, and then it had an old gray folding table desk over here. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, there was this old guy, he was moving to Florida, my mom knew him from church, and she was like, hey! Actually, I don't know how it happened, but he was like, I've got this desk, and she was like, whoa, my son needs a desk. And um, here it is. It's got a lot of great storage. I was able to like put all my stuff in it and I still have more space. And it works. <laughs> Next spot. This is my bookcase. There's books and other books and my clothes. So this whole area of my room is like the part that I'm actually super happy with. The flow of this space here I think is really cool. So I have my easel. So when I'm working on pieces like this, I can just pop it up. I'm painting. But like the window and the paintings and stuff to kind of like fill the wall space. So it works for me. And then <laughs> my main drawing desk. I say main drawing desk. I use them pretty equally, but this is like the art desk. So I have storage and stuff here. And sketchbooks at the bottom. And then like my art light. So in the last little area of my room is this area here, which is really just my bed. And I really like this space mostly because of this. Um, all the art that I have here. There are a couple spots, obviously, like here, here here and then here where I still need to add things but for the most part like it's just a nice little area and during the day it's kind of like a couch I think that's pretty much it <laughs> and everything's really organized my room used to be so bad that you could not see the floor that's I was a mess and I would get oh my god my mom would yell at me every single day every day and you gotta clean your room clean your room Matt you gotta clean your room so I finally like just purged everything things are put away you know what I mean like that makes you feel good. So I'll just do one of these. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope it was semi-interesting at least. I hope you like the way my room turned out. Let me know if you guys think like I could do anything else cooler. Like, I don't know. I'm not really an interior designer. Um, but if you guys have any ideas um, or like things on the wall you guys think would be cool or like really cool art that you guys know of that you have in your room that you think I would like, feel like let me know because I'm really interested in that stuff. Um, you know, I want this to be a really cool space. So, if you really liked it, you can throw a like on this video. And even subscribe. That would, wow, crazy. Hopefully I have some funny clips I could put at the end of this video. If not, that's all I have to say. Goodbye. <laughs>